What's up YouTube? Charmin Xsoft here coming at you guys with another Friday the 13th the game video. And today I want to talk to you all about the new bloody Jason skins that everyone's been talking about just to clear up any confusion about them because there seems to be a lot of it going around. Now first off, two days ago, roughly about two days ago, Gun Media released a new trailer which I'm showing you guys right now that announced that on October Friday the 13th of this year, physical copies of the game will be releasing for Xbox One. PS4 and Steam for only $39.99. But that's not all that's dropping on that day, as at the very end of the trailer you also see a small note that says, exclusive retail content includes bloody Jason skin and new counselor outfits to wear. Now underneath the YouTube video that Gun Media has on their YouTube channel for that trailer in their description box, it actually has like a little uh little bit more information and I'll provide a link for that video down in my description box as well but that little link actually or that little bit of information they put in their description box gives you a little bit more insight on what's included and what it says is included exclusive free bloody Jason skin for all playable Jasons and free pack of clothing for each of the playable camp counselors now a lot of people have been all up in arms about this really and it's not as big of a deal as that I think that people are making it because if you go over to the Reddit site, okay, uh, when they made this announcement, they also put this on Reddit. And if you look at the original Reddit announcement of the physical launch posted by Petorium from Gun Media, which I'll also provide a link for down below, he explains in the comments that they created different blood skin patterns and they are giving one away for retail copies and one for free for digital. They are different patterns, but they didn't want the digital players to feel left out, so they made one for them as well. That blood skin, he says, will be added in the near future, so basically, everyone is going to be getting bloody Jason skins. It's just that the physical one will be a different pattern from the digital one, and we don't have a solid date yet on the when the uh, digital bloody Jason skin will be coming out, but we do know that there will be a digital bloody Jason skin. So just, I think it needs to kind of relax a little bit on that. Now as for the clothing pack for the counselors, no comment was given on if there will be a clothing pack for digital as well, so we'll just have to wait and see how things work out. Other questions about the skins that were answered on Reddit were, if I get a physical copy and I already own a digital copy, can I get both of the bloody skins? And the answer was yes, you can get both. Now Praetorian also said that physical backers who back the game on like Kickstarter or the Slasher Backer are indeed as well getting the digital content that's coming with the physical copies. And the question was also asked if physical backers get their physical copy before retail purchasers do. And it was answered kind of weirdly, it says we're working to get those out as quickly as possible, but he does not have a solid answer for us on that one. So personally, me in my opinion, I would expect us probably not to get the physical copies before the retail people and the only reason my personal opinion why I would think that we would not get them before the retail people would be because all of us who you know went ahead and did it on the backer kit or the Kickstarter we have to rely on the US Postal Service to actually deliver our games where everyone else can just kind of wake up and go to the store and just go pick it up so because of the Postal Service and shipping and everything like that and where everybody lives personally me I would not expect to get it on said release day of the physical copies or whatever the case may be so understand that if you did back it and you ordered it that you're gonna have to deal with your postal service when it comes to getting your product so you know they really can't control that one there now before we go i just also wanted to comment on a rumor about gun and Ilphonic abandoning friday the 13th for dead alliance and this is completely false i mean this started on youtube and everybody's kind of blown this out of proportion but this is completely false right here guys Ilphonic has not abandoned Friday the 13th for Dead Alliance. Actually, Chuck Brungard from Ilphonic actually came out and he made a statement about this. I'm going to read you guys a statement and I'll put a link for it down in my description box as well if you want to go ahead and check it out. But what he said is that he wanted to address the concerns that Ilphonic abandoned Friday the 13th, the game for Dead Alliance, and this is 100% not true. Most major independent studios have multiple teams working on multiple products at the same time. Uh, this is critical for the survival of the studio, especially with the ups and downs within the game industry. Dead Alliance was started way before Friday the 13th, the game. It was a co-development by Psyop Games and Ilphonic, then titled Moving Hazard. Psyop Games have released Moving Hazard to Steam Early Access well over a year ago, and it gained interest from Maximum Games for a console port. 
says that we had a team who remained working on what turned into Dead Alliance for consoles that has always been separate from Friday the 13th the game. Ilphonic still remains a small studio to this day, but they're growing. He says, with the recent success of Friday the 13th the game, we've been increasing our staff on the title. We originally had about 20 internal team members working on Friday the 13th the game, and now they're up to about 30 internal team members, and they've also opened a second office that's sole purpose is to support the development of Friday the 13th the game. In addition, they are continuing to, uh, to staff up more team members for continued support of the game and they assure us that the continued support of Friday the 13th the game has not been abandoned in fact it is quite the opposite and if you guys still don't believe that statement right there then just go ahead and look at the Twitter accounts of Friday the 13th the game the devs and Ilphonic and whatnot because for the past two or three days they've been posting up a lot of mocap videos showing pieces of what they're working on for Friday the 13th the game some of which are like new kills for the single player which is like the gas can kill for example so it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool so, you know some of the stuff's gonna be able to be played in the multiplayer or the new single player missions that are set to release this summer 2017 and just so everyone knows so that we're on the same page a simple Google search will tell you that summer officially started on June 20th and doesn't end until September 22nd so please just relax they still have a lot of time to finish the single player and release it everybody keeps asking why is it not here summer's almost over summer does not end again until September 22nd it's not based on like the school summer vacation time you get what I'm saying here so me personally I want them to take all the time they need I hope they won't release the single player until September 22nd because in my personal opinion the more time that they have to work on the product the better it'll be when it releases so Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think down in my comment section down below. I really want to know what you guys think about all of this news and whatnot. I hope this helps clear up a lot of things. And always, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped you out. And if it did, please feel free to go ahead and slap that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Shermanati today. And as always, you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and comment below and follow me on Twitch and Twitter to stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. I'm Sharman X Soft, and as always, thanks for watching. And you all come back now, you hear? <laughs>